Hello again, um, just a tip today, I think uh, one that might improve your fishing, your boat fishing, and it's about uh, when you're at anchor and the tide's not strong enough to hold you in position. So what often happens is you're anchored in the boat and instead of being fishing down the back of the boat like this nicely, the wind will get up or, or drop off and conversely the boat will move from side to side like so. Now, I'm not sure about yourselves, but I certainly had some really, really poor days when that's occurred. Um, and it's, it just don't seem to catch many fish. So you think to yourself, why? Well, I thought to myself, well, why is this? And um, obviously if you're over rough ground, you're gonna be dragging the, the hook into and the weight into all sorts of crevices. Um, you're gonna lose a lot of tackle. Um, you're gonna get the a lot of uh, growth on the hook um, it's going to pick up all sorts of bits and pieces so it's not going to help you fishing but I think it's a bit more than that um, now in a, in a moment you're going to see some underwater footage and uh, I'll let you make your own mind up of what you think and then after you've seen it I'll, I'll tell you what I think but it was on a, a day just exactly like it there wasn't a lot of tide um, and the boat was all over the place. It was just moving literally 180 degrees on the anchor. It was clean ground. We weren't getting snagged. Now we were there for about two hours and we had two fish, dogfish, over that time. Now there were fish down there. Absolutely there were fish down there because I put the underwater camera down and I saw the fish. But they weren't taking the bait. They just weren't really that interested in it. And well, look at the footage. Make your own mind up, and then I'll come back to you and uh, I'll tell you what I think. Okay, so you've now seen exactly what occurred. So that was a stingray, and he, he wanted the bait. He really wanted the bait. Now, I know the, what the footage looks like as if I'm drifting in one direction. I'm not. The boat was moving like this on the anchor, side to side. And um, it was just dragging that bait away from that fish. And I just think they, they know something's wrong. I think after a while, he had a bit of an effort to go for it. After a while, the fish just thought there's something odd here and, and wasn't interested. Um, now you might think, well, hold on, we catch fish while we're drifting, why would it make any difference? This is what I think. When you're drifting, you tend to be drifting with the tide in a natural direction of where any bait would be tumbling along the bottom with the tide. We know this, we catch place on the drift, flatfish, turbot, brill, bass, all sorts. But when it's swishing from side to side in like an arc, I don't know, I don't know. I never have good days when it's doing that. Now, a top tip, and, and this has worked for me, I've only really tried in the last few years. What I tend to do now, provided the tide isn't running too hard, I'll, I'll pull the anchor up and I'll fish just hopping a bait on the bottom. Now. You don't just pick up flatfish, bass, mackerel, say, you can catch bream like it. I've caught all sorts of things like it. I've caught taupe, hounds, bullhuss, conger, um, obviously gurnard, they don't want to move and bait either. But it's been far more productive 
when I've pulled that anchor up and I'm just moving with the tide than when I'm swinging from top, side to side. So yeah, a little tip there. Um, you might want to try it. It can be really frustrating on those days when the boat just doesn't sit still at anchor. Um, might just improve your day.